look at sort of the evolving roles of administrators and moderators, uh, people in leadership positions with with forums or communities, look at uh, how what we're doing with Social Underground and what that means. Uh, we'll look at what we've found that works, uh, and then trying to offer some uh, innovation tips um, for things that we're working on and that, that we think would benefit uh, community community at large. Um, so the first thing that, that we've noticed in, in a couple of years of working with people who are uh, moderators, administrators, is that it's, it's moving from uh, this concept of sort of real communities versus fake marketers. Uh, and both sides of the equation are owning up to the fact and sort of taking advantage of the fact that it's not just spam, that some people are trying to add value uh, when they come to do marketing in a community. And I've seen a lot of really, really <coughs> cool ideas of how people are incorporating uh, the two sides to actually help each other. And in my experience, that means that people are switching from, uh, if I'm the leadership position, if I'm the administrator, if I'm the moderator, I'm going from just being a monitoring, um, keeping people out, or doing sort of a, um, like I'm the doorman, making sure that you have certain credentials to pass into the forum or to take part in whatever the community is, over to connecting people and uh, actually inviting people into the communities. And so that's where we're working. Uh, we're working in a space to use integrated campaigns. And uh, Andrew's going to talk a little more about what uh, the specific programs that we've been doing. But essentially, we see uh, whether it's social media, whether it's blogs, whether it's forums and communities, in any, in any form. Um, integrating those into programs that go beyond whatever the website is, whatever the forum is, whatever the community is, um, means that you have to have people who have traditionally maybe been kept out uh, as integrated parts. Uh, currently, our, our community is about 60,000 strong. We, we got in the industry about 10 years ago, and uh, we set out to do one thing. We wanted to change the way um, People, talent, the face of a brand was placed on live marketing programs, um, tours, um, uh, any sort of experience or footprint that was happening online. And our approach has always been that no matter what you wanted somebody to do, whether it was take a sample of this new product, um, come inside and, and uh, throw the fastball, be the, you know, interact with the brand on any experiential level, <coughs> is that you had to really relate to them on a human level first and pull them into that. Uh, and if that did not happen, nothing else was was going to happen. So what we've done is we've looked at brand ambassadors, as we hear them in the live sense called. We look for three things. We look for people that look like the brand, are currently already loyal to the brand, and have a, sense, a certain influential lifestyle that will represent the person we're trying to reach. Well, as we realized, like a lot of people did several years ago, that people don't stop communicating while they're online, uh, we have pushed out a program called the Social Underground. And what we've done is now we've taken this community of 60, 60 to 65,000 people registered in our system, and we have treated this as one giant forum. Now, we know that everybody has something in common um, in our community. They want to work uh, in experiential, non-traditional, fun, exciting ways uh, with brands. And these people are out there, and they want to communicate that message. Um, but they're not all interested in the same thing. Some people want to do this, some people want to be at the trade show. Uh, there are some people that want to stand in front of you know, Mustangs for 12 hours a day and talk to consumers. It's the same thing online. Um, so what we've done is we've really focused on sort of funneling the right opportunities to these people online. And again, we don't look at the, in the online space, we don't look at these people as brand ambassadors anymore. We look at them as young, vibrant, social, um, uh, consumers, okay? And so what we're doing is we're creating, uh, we're connecting the right ones, um, we're finding the fans, we're funneling down to uh, loyalists, and then we're getting the best advocates and connecting them in the right ways to brands. What we're doing then is we put them in front of immersive media type experiences. Um, you know, we find people and we, we tap into their existing social media habits, and then we give them something that's fun, a fun, new, exciting, exclusive opportunity, a way for them to talk to the brand. And again, when we talk to uh, administrators <coughs> and, and, and moderators right now, we talk to them in the same way that we look, you know, we look at our database as one giant community, but we feel it's our responsibility to filter and funnel the right opportunities <coughs> to the right people. And up until now, uh, people have looked at marketing opportunities as an all or nothing type opportunity, we feel. Uh, and 
that opportunity is that I'm the gatekeeper. There's no way I'm not, not you know, it's taken me 10 years to gain trust. I'm not going to lose it all in a minute with these people. So, no, we're not interested in anything or giving somebody full access to their community, which uh, you know, we all know how detrimental that can be. So, what, we have, what we've done with Social Underground is we've sort of implemented a transparent type strategy that we're trying to push that message now out to um, administrators and moderators of this. Yeah, so the, uh, what we found definitely is that in order for something to be mutually beneficial, it has to be completely transparent, and uh, that all starts with the one relationship, and that's why we talk a lot about um, connecting a marketer uh, through an experience to an administrator, to a moderator, to whoever it is in the leadership position in a community. Um, we find it's really, really important to start, uh, build that, make sure that that's solid, and make sure that everybody understands things uh, if you're gonna get introduced to a community at large, or if you're gonna get introduced to individuals in that community. Uh, the five, we found five uh, sort of guidelines or approaches that are working the best. There's a community called Busy Moms, and what they do, uh, I think, really well is use, use discretion, uh, and that's just sort of funneling within within their community. It's all about moms who work at home, and what they're doing is splitting it up. Um, maybe maybe it's big enough for you to see, maybe not. But what they've done is splitting it into things like my town uh, working at home. Um, tips for people who are um, trying to start their business or tips for people who are trying to balance their family life with their business, etc. And in each of those things, you have a completely different group that you're speaking in, speaking to that's a subset. Uh, so what we found is that the only way a marketing message is going to work is if you um, use your discretion and make sure that it's in the right, whether that be thread or the right uh, board or whether the right community you need to make sure that um, you're speaking to the right part of a community. Approach number two. Uh, make it exclusive. This was for a, uh, a program where we were looking for fashion conscious people in the Denver area and I think that it was our responsible, responsibility as well um, not to approach a, a community like this and ask if we could have access to all, you know, 10,000, 12,000 users that they had, you know, what we did was we, we knew that our best approach was to say, we are looking for fashion forward people uh, between 21 and 30. And instead of us going, you know, hey, we have an opportunity, your users are going to love this, we actually created a relationship with the moderator and said, look, we're looking for something very specific. We think they could look at this as something that would be valuable to them, valuable to you for presenting it in the right way. And again, everybody wins in essence. Filter within, um, you know, this is a, a classic nation. Um, my uh, my my family back in the Midwest is on this site quite a bit. Um, you know, there was a uh, my uncle had told me several weeks ago that they were looking for um, they were looking for Mustang um, users, classic Mustang users, and I think that the interesting approach is that people think well. There is a forum. There's, you know, there there are certain subsets within that. There there are uh, areas of interest here. There are different personality types here. Uh, but this particular, uh, I guess, marketing campaign was brought out just to the uh, classic Mustang enthusiasts. So it was not blast on the front door. It was not put out there for everybody. It was set out for just a very specific few people, and the feedback was incredible. It was classic Mustang lovers between this year and this year. And I think a lot of times it's, uh, you know, it's assumed that you cannot filter within your site. Well, there are, what we've found is that there are a million ways to filter within. Yeah, and uh, along with any of this, we've really found that uh, honesty goes a long way. Uh, you can't pull any punches. You obviously need to always be a 100% uh, transparent strategy like we were talking about before, first with the moderator or whoever's in the leadership position, and then after that. Anytime you're dealing with, with one individual, there can't be uh, layers of how much you give away or how much you're talking about. We found that things work when you give the same level of honesty uh, to everyone. People don't come to a forum to be marketed to. They come to learn, they come to talk to other people who are into what they're into. Uh, people don't join a community to get stuff sold to them, but they do join to expand their, their knowledge or expand their opportunities within that, is what we have found. Um, so this, this is one of my favorite examples. It's a really long sort of landing page that's about how this person's gonna tell you the truth, but it's the same as every other landing page. 
question about how you should buy the book so you know the truth. That kind of honesty doesn't work. Uh, real honesty does work. <laughs>